I'm getting ready to do the chicks. So I have traced the chick and the wing. And the beauty about this is you only have to trace it one time. We're gonna make multiples in the brother canvas. But when I get ready to save this, I will save this as a single download for the chick because those blocks that use the chick, I need both of these pieces. We're gonna make eight chicks in just a matter of minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the mat. I'm gonna set it right here and press the mat load button. This is the scanning mat. It's not sticky and it has the flap over it to prevent dust and dog fur and all that from getting in. Let me get you into the screen so you can see. This is the main menu on the Scan and Cut and we have pattern and these are patterns that are inside of the machine if you wanted to pull those out and we have scan and then there's arrows you can go to other menus. Right now I want to scan the shapes in for my chicks so I'm just going to hit scan and it gives us three options. We can do a direct cut. I don't want to cut. We can scan to cut data. That's what I'm going to do or you can scan it to a USB if you want to move the shape and save it somewhere else. So I'm gonna to scan to cut data, and I'm just gonna hit start. That's how simple it is, and the machine is gonna scan it now. It's taking a picture of what it sees on the mat. It says recognizing. Okay, on the menu you have three options. So I can see the chick and I see the wing. You have outside only and inside outside and you can tell the difference. Outside only is just the outline of a square and a box. And this you can see where the two meet. You can see the inside and the outside of the square and the circle. And then this right here is for regions. That's usually for colors. Well, we're not gonna use that one. So I'm gonna touch inside, outside. If I wanted to, I could use these right here to maneuver the screen and just save a part of it or whatever. It really doesn't matter in this case. And so even if you don't touch those at all, it's fine. I'm just gonna um, see if it, now I'd have to hit preview so you could see what it'll look like and it brings it in. And, that's really, that's all that screen is for. If you wanted to isolate the certain images on the screen, let's say I had a whole bunch of stuff on the screen and I wanted to isolate those two. That's what those are for, but I didn't really need to do that. I'm just gonna press okay. And it wants to know where I wanna save it. I can save it into the machine. I can save it to the cloud or I can save it to USB. And I wanna save it to the cloud. And that's what it's doing. I have already connected my scan and cut to the brother canvas. And I'll put a link right here so you can see how to do that. And it says save successful. I'm gonna to touch okay. So now we're ready to go to the brother canvas and make some chicks. I'm here on the brother canvas. It is canvasworkspace.brother.com and you will need to log in. We've got four tabs across the top here. Canvas Project, My Projects, Pattern Collection, and Disney. I'm gonna go to My Projects. That's where everything is that I have scanned in. So when they pop up, this is what I'm looking for right here. And there are two buttons on this. This is to edit and this is to download. I want to edit right now. I'm gonna click this button. The first thing I need to do is to clean up the mat and get rid of anything that I don't want to use. And the easiest way to do that is to click on my chick and I'm gonna move it off the mat and my wing and move it off the mat and then I'm gonna take my cursor up here in the top left corner and I'm gonna drag it all the way down and then I'm gonna hit delete on the keyboard. That cleans the mat completely. Now that I've cleaned up the mat, I'm gonna take this chick right here and I need to make eight of them, but four of them need to be mirrored. So I'm going to right click copy, right click, paste. I'm gonna take this guy here and this guy. I'm gonna rotate them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna minimize as much fabric as possible as I need uh, to use. I'm gonna nest these like this. That looks, that looks good right there. I'm gonna take my cursor and drag it over both of them. Right click, 
and group. So now they are one object. Now I can right click copy and right click paste. So there is the other one. These are great. Okay, let me put these up here. I'm trying to get them into a six inch square so that I don't use a whole lot of fabric. Here we go. Now I'm going to take my cursor and cover them both. Right click, copy, right click, paste, right click, group, and come up here to edit, and then come down to flip horizontal. So now they are mirrored. Okay, so there's all my chickens. There's eight chickens. How cool is that? Now I need the wings. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my wing and I'll bring it over here. And I'm going to right click, copy, right click, paste. There's two of them. Take them both. Right click, copy, right click, paste. All right, there's those guys. And I'm going to highlight all four of them, right click, copy, right click, paste. You need to group them in order to mirror them all at the same time. I'm going to highlight these, right click, group, come up to edit, flip horizontal. There we go. This is great. So now I can get my chicks and my wings. Let me, I'm going to group, I'm going to move these guys just a little bit so we've got plenty of room between the fabric pieces. I'm going to cut all of my chicks out of one fabric, and uh, these are going to be two different fabrics right here. All right, I am ready to download this now to the Scan and Cut. So I'm going to click the download button. Oh, first I need to save it. I apologize. I'm going to come up here where it says C00121 and put my cursor over all of those. And I'm going to go M23-M24 chick. I'll just singular chick. And I have a reason for that. I'm going to come up to project tab and I'm going to save it. There's an arrow with a plus sign in an inbox. I'm going to save that. All right, that's good. So now I'm going to download this to the Scan and Cut. And I'm going to prep my fabric with Heat and Bond on the back, Heat and Bond Light. Let me do Scan and Cut Transfer. You can download to PC or Scan and Cut Transfer. And I'm downloading it to the Scan and Cut. There, that's ready. Now, I want to save the file with an individual chick for the embroidery portion. When I get to a chicken that has two chicks, I will just duplicate and mirror it if I need to. I'm going to grab this one. I want to keep this one. If you remember, these up here are the right way, and these down here are mirrored, flipped horizontal. So I'm going to keep this guy, and I'm going to get rid of all of these. There we go. So there's my wing. That's good. And this, I want to right click and ungroup, click off. I want to grab just the one. And I'm going to get all of these and I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so here is my chick. And here is my wing. And I'm going to download this and I'm going to download to PC as an FCM. And there it is right there. So now I have the file. I'm going to maintain this to use for all of the blocks that use chicks. I'm going to close. I'm about ready to cut out the wings. I had cut the chickens out earlier before I thought about doing the wings at the same time. So. You guys are getting an efficiency benefit from my short-sightedness. So I had already cut the, the chickens out like last night, but now I'm, I'm going to do the wings and I'm doing them in two separate fabrics just like they show in the pattern. So I'm going to, I've already loaded my mat 
All right, we want to retrieve data from the cloud. There they all are, and I just want the wings now. And so I'm going to touch these guys and go to edit and hit the trash can and tell it okay and touch these guys. I didn't have those grouped. If you group them in the cloud, you cannot ungroup them at the machine. Just FYI and trash and okay. All right, we're ready to cut. I'm gonna tell it okay. I want to scan and make sure everything's going to fit, but I know it is because I have my fabric filling up the entire six inch quadrant of the mat, top and bottom. So I don't really need to scan. I'm going to tell it OK and select and cut. Whoop. Moving it around. Look at me. And start. going to cut all those little wings in less than one minute. They are right side on the top and mirrored on the bottom, reversed. I have heat and bond light on the back of the fabric. The paper is off. This is the low tack mat. Fabric side up, heat and bond side down, paper off. All done. Okay, let's see how they did. Perfect, perfect. That's Awesome, look at that. Oh, happy, happy, happy. I'm gonna unload the mat. Look at these. Y'all, they came out just perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this. I'm gonna put these in my chicks baggie so that I've got them. And I know that the ones that don't have the little circles, the bubbles, are right side and the little uh, daisy flowers are reversed. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm.